So what I've got here is my Eheim 2215 canister filter. What I want to show you is the mod that I made to the propeller. This propeller, which is surrounded by a magnet, spins around a shaft, which is centered by two rubber bushings. So the problem I had was mine broke and also I don't know how this happened but one of these rubber bushings was lost. So I had the problem I need a new rubber bushing and I need a new shaft. To order one online is more than twenty dollars and it's a heck of a lot more than that to go to my local pet shop and buy it. The first thing I did was I cut a piece of coat hanger the correct length. It's not thick enough. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a fair bit of give and wobble. And it doesn't spin very straight. The other problem, and I think probably had more to do with why it didn't work very well when I installed it, it's magnetic. If this is trying to stay centered and it's spinning around something that's keeping it from spinning because of resistance due to the magnetic properties, that can't be good. Second thing I tried was another coat hanger that I found with a plastic coating or sheathing. It fit, but just barely, and it was very tight, didn't spin very freely, and still magnetic, so still a problem. So what I did, I went to my local hobby shop, and I bought a piece of brass rod. The brass rod as purchased, which was 3 8 in diameter, was too thick. The size down from that was more like this, too thin. So, cut the brass rod to length, put it in my Dremel, spun it and sanded it with 400 grit and 600 grit sandpaper ever so gently, took a while, I think about 20 minutes, but I got it down to the right diameter so that it fit very nicely in there and it spins quite well. Added bonus to the brass, it's not magnetic. The other problem I had was only one rubber bushing. Easy fix. I found a piece, an old eraser, drilled a hole in the middle of the eraser, cut it out around the hole to make sure it was centered got it so it just fits snug in there and voila rubber bushing make sure you push it right down in piece goes back on centered, click down and we're good to go for the cost of a brass rod from my local hobby shop which was about three dollars and whatever an eraser cost so for under four dollars I was able to fix my filter thanks for watching